almost every society believe that status means competence. So all over the world, the correlation between a group's status, that is the, the prestige of the jobs they have, and their economic success, which are demographic variables, predicts their perceived competence and capability, which is a trait. What we find in the data is if you plot where poor people are viewed all around the world, they're always seen as incompetent, but some places they're seen as slightly more warm and some places as slightly less warm. Rich people are always, always seen as highly competent and cold. So the variation from equal countries to unequal countries seems to be in how poor people are viewed. In more equal countries, poor people are seen as slightly warmer and more eligible for help and pity. But in highly unequal countries, poor people are seen with contempt. What you see is that it's warmth that moves around as a function of inequality, not the competence dimension. So people seem to believe in meritocracy. They seem to think that status is the same thing as competence. That doesn't change even in countries that are more equal. In countries with more income inequality, and the United States is one of these, poor people are kind of blamed for being poor. It kind of justifies the system to believe that it, you know they're responsible because they're untrustworthy. The placement of these groups, particularly rich people and poor people, it justifies how the system treats them. Why is it that everybody believes in meritocracy? We still haven't figured that out, but what we have shown is how robust it is across all different kinds of countries. It's hard to make that go away. You know, for me, it's a matter of just trying to explain inequality and cross-class encounters because, you know, as inequality in the United States grows, I think we have more and more difficulties bridging those class divides.